Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Dr. Yi Elaine Wong, who is here from Harvard Eye. Well, welcome. It's nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. Well, we, we do uh, have a lot of doctors come on from Harvard Eye, and everybody has their specialty. And of course, you are going to talk to us about one a particular procedure that has been around for quite some time. Right, so right. tell me, I mean, I would try to pronounce it, but I think I might butcher it. So I'm going to let you do it. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. So yes, a lot of our doctors from Harvard, I do come on to the TV and really, really appreciate this opportunity to talk to people about the procedures and, and um, laser treatment, like I'm talking about today, especially uh, my specialty is in glaucoma. And um, most people know glaucoma as, you know, something you have a pr problem with your eye high pressure and for the most part we use eye drops and when I tend to talk when I talk to people about you know there's another option you can use laser treatment to treat pressures as well uh, people tend to you know be surprised by that and so I feel like this would be a great opportunity to talk to people about this very non-invasive laser called selective laser trapeculoplasty. So it is a very safe and effective procedure um, to lower eye pressure, like I said, for a patient with glaucoma. Mm -hmm. um, just to remind everybody, last time when I was here at uh, TV6, we talked about what glaucoma was. And just to remind everyone, refresh your memory, um, uh, it is a leading cause of irreversible blindness for older people, especially you are above the age of 60. Mm -hmm. Unlike cataract, which people are more familiar with, which is a reversible cause of blindness, you can have your cataract surgery and voila, you see a lot better, glaucoma damage is permanent. So that's why we're usually very uh, careful, cautious, and you know, uh, trying to identify glaucoma and treat glaucoma at the very beginning so we don't miss the opportunity to prevent some blindness uh, from you can get from this disease. Right. Um, right. Yeah. So uh, one of the just, you know, some, some just to put it in a bigger picture, a lot of uh, people don't understand, you know, the, the magnitude of this problem. And, and, and it's actually a pretty prevalent problem in the United States. Um, one of the studies that the National Eye Institute uh, estimated in 2010, there was only 2.7 million people in the United States with glaucoma. Now, 10 years from today in 2030, there will be 4.3 million, so almost double. And then another 20 years from there to 2050, there will be 6.3 million. So it's really increasing at a very, very high rate, especially for people who are older. And as our society is becoming more and more older as well, I think it is very important for us to identify this problem and know the different options that we could utilize to treat the problem. Do you have any idea or did the research show any particular reason for the increase? Yeah, so most, of, I think number one is that the population base is just larger now and people do live longer. And glaucoma in general is an older people problem. It's a degeneration of a structure in the eye, which is the optic nerve. So I like to tell my patients to think of it more like your cataract, like your thin hair, like your joints, different joints, and things just kind of part of the aging process. That being said, if you have a strong family history, you have had trauma in your eye, you've had other injuries in your head area, those are other risk factors that could make you more susceptible to this kind of damage in the eye. But overall, aging and family history. Okay, yeah. I see. I see. Well, what, what exactly is the laser treatment? How, how does it actually work? Yeah, so um, one of the, the slides that I'm showing right now actually shows a structure of the eye. On the top of it is the clear part of the eye, which is the cornea. And when you look into the mirror, that clear part with the you know reflex, that's the cornea. And the other part of it is the iris. So iris is the color part of the eye. Some people are brown, dark, blue, green, different colors of the iris. Where that dome-shaped cornea and the iris, which is like a donut shape because there's a pupil in the middle, when those two structured meet, that is the drainage angle. So that drainage angle is actually a very intricate anatomical structure in the eye. It's a 360 canal system. It allows water or fluid in the eye to drain from the inside to the outside. It's completely separate from your tear system. It's not your tear. It's a type of fluid that we call aqueous fluid. That's um, sort of like analogy to it as the 
blood for your body. It provides nutrition for the small structures inside the eye. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it, it's a cycle, right? New things, new fluid needs to be made and old fluid needs to drain out. So if you have a problem with this plumbing or draining out process, then things can get backed up and that will create a pressure problem. So the laser will then target this drainage angle and actually deliver energy to tickle those pump cells, like I say, on a cellular level. It doesn't, it's very, very safe, effective, and most importantly, non-invasive because it doesn't cut anything. It doesn't cause any holes. It doesn't cause any bleeding. It's purely the laser energy being absorbed by the cells that lines the drainage angle canal and they work harder after they were stimulated or they are stimulated by the laser and pump out the fluid from the inside to the outside a little bit more efficiently and that way you can reduce pressure by getting rid of the old fluid faster wow and and is this is this done first of all under anesthesia or how does that work yeah, so very, I'm glad that that's a perfect segue into what I'm going to talk about next. Uh, so it is actually a procedure we do very commonly in the office. You, you will actually come into Harvard Eye, take Harvard Eye as an example. It's a complete 100% office procedure. Your appointment will be very, very similar like your office visit. So uh, just to walk you through, because I showed a picture, which is easier. I think this is a, a picture that directly was taken from our laser room. You can tell this is an exam Chair, very much similar to what you would sit in for a regular exam. And this is a roll up laser. The top part has a laser machine on it, but the machine can be rolled up towards the chair. There's a chin rest, there's a uh, where you kind of push your forehead on. People who have had an eye exam would understand. It's very similar to an exam at the slit lamp that we use. So it's completely 100% under just topical numbing drops, like you would get a pressure check. And um, so it's, it's very safe. Some doctors do do it in a surgical center, but there is no anesthesia involved and you're completely just, you know, normal self. And more importantly, there is no pre-work that you need to do. Some people think of laser more like a, a surgery. You know, you got to clean your lids really well, no eye makeup for a few days, and you got to use antibiotics and things for three days before the procedure. It's none of that. It's, you don't have any homework that you need to do before the procedure you come in and i like to walk people step by step you know you come in first thing you come in you come to our new office lo location we moved offices you right. park your car and we validate your parking which is always a good thing and uh, you come up to the third floor through the elevator and you check in at our um, front desk and then you tell them you're here for a laser procedure then for example my team our techs will grab you and check your pressure and vision just like a normal exam and then they'll put two types of eye drops in your eye as a preparation so mm -hmm. it takes 30 minutes for these drops to work during what time you will be sitting in a separated laser waiting area and for the for the uh, eye drops to take an effect 30 minutes after you'll be taken into the laser room that I showed earlier. Mm -hmm. And there you'll be given two sets of numbing drops in the eye just to numb the eye that ha is going to uh, go under the laser treatment. And by the way, I do it one eye at a time. I never do them two eyes on the same day. Okay. Yeah. And so when we, um, then you sit in the chair, I come in, talk to you. We agree that which I were going to do procedure in. And then you sit in that chair. I pulled the laser very close to you. And after that, there will be a contact lens that I will be using, which is also shown, shown here in the slide. It's a tiny little a contact lens. I'll put a little bit gel in the lens. So it provides maximum comfort against the eye. The entire procedure, you should not feel any pain. If you do feel there's some stinging sensation, that could be normal, but I like to hear about them because the laser power can be adjusted. So we give you maximum effect and also comfort. You do feel like people are touching your eye or my, my contact lens is touching the eye. It's not like I don't feel anything, but it shouldn't be pain at all. And then all you hear is the beeping sound from the laser. It takes no more than five to 10 minutes for the actual laser process. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you how far along we are. We usually, I would usually say we're quarter through, half through, last quarter, then we're done. And after that, you will have a very brief 
period of time when your vision is slightly blurry, not because of the laser, but because of the gel that I was using, sort of the goo around the eyes making you temporarily blurry. At that time, my assistant will wipe the eye clean, will actually rinse it to make sure it's clean, and then we'll sit you in the waiting area for another 30 minutes to make sure you go home, everything is fine, and that's it. So that's really um, very pain-free, very uh, easy procedure, very much like a office visit. And I like to tell people to budget about an hour and a half because of the pre-time and the wait after the procedure. Well, that's great. I mean, that's really nice to know that you can do it. And like you said, it was just like going in for an eye exam. I think we've all experienced a little puff in our eye and with yeah. that pain, so we know that's, that's comforting because people probably get a little scared. Oh yeah, when they hear laser, I don't blame them. When they hear laser, people tend to think, you know, what they advertise most about it is LASIK, right? It is, that is then a laser surgery and you do have to go to a surgical center, you are under some sort of anesthesia or they give you Xanax and stuff to calm you. None of that for the, this laser procedure. So when I talk to a patient, I even carefully phrase it that it's not a laser surgery, it's just a procedure, like a small procedure you do in a dentist's office or in a, in a um, dermatology office, you know? So it's it's, it's really, uh, you can actually, people do drive themselves to the pro procedure and go home. Unlike, and it's even easier than a dilated eye exam. Because when your eyes are dilated, sometimes you don't feel comfortable driving um, and you're very light sensitive. But this laser, because there is really no damage, no holes, no bleeding, nothing created, and you're not dilated, most people are just fine driving themselves in and out. But if you want to bring someone just for the spiritual support, you're more than welcome to do that. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, I really appreciate you uh, explaining all of this to us. Um, you know, a simple procedure for something that could certainly help them. That is wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Well, we can talk more about what else to expect or there's any downside of the procedure if you guys are interested. Um, yeah, but otherwise it's a very effective. Most important thing is that I like to stress that it's a very effective and safe procedure and you have nothing to lose. Most people think of laser procedure or, um, you know, surgery in a way something as a last resort, like I'll try topical stuff. If it doesn't work, then we'll talk more about the invasive things. But this laser is really, I, I like to change your people's way of thinking that is you can't consider that as the first treatment you get for glaucoma. You don't even have to wait until the drops don't work because this, the trick about this laser is that it works the best. It, it's very effective, but it's worked the best when your pressure is actually the highest. So um, when your pressure is high, to to bring down 10 points, it's easier. Say I'm bringing it down from 30 to 20, it's actually easier with the laser than from 20 to 10. So I like to say, because there's very minimal downside of it, it's pain-free, why don't we try it from the get-go? And if it doesn't work, it's never too late to start an eye drop anyway. And that's okay. something we're more comfortable with anyway. All yeah. right, well, wonderful. Well, I appreciate the information. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me, it's my pleasure. All right. And we'll be right back after this.